Hey family, Aaron here to tell you about our latest sponsor, Studio Sweden Headphones. Do you like headphones that are comfortable, stylish, and Bluetooth? Well, Studio Sweden Headphones are all three. Studio Sweden Headphones has decided to sponsor the Black Astronauts Podcast and is giving something to our listeners. If you type in B-A-P-P-O-D at checkout, you will get 15% off and worldwide shipping. So go to StudioSwedenHeadphones.com and Use the code B-A-P-P-O-D. Now on to the show. And welcome to Rune Reviews. This is a podcast where we talk. You know what? Fuck it, y'all. Everybody's sad right now. We're talking about Infinity War. It's about to be spoilers. I don't I don't even feel like going into my normal normal thing that I go into, right? Let's just get into who, who is smacking, backflipping. I'm no. sorry, okay? Popping I'm sorry. I'm just, Are you I'm shaking? That's Are you my nails food? hitting the table because I'm scratched. Scratch. <laughs> we got. Is there a? We got. Is there a good sound effect that we might have to depict people that like was fading into the <laughs> like this disintegrating? Hey, all it was I, like wind. Hey, like like it's, the sound the sound you make when you're trying to see if there's too much powder in the in the little baby powder jar and you just. Poof. Yo, so exactly. so if y'all didn't read by the title, this is a spoiler cast. We ain't holding nothing back. We got a non-spoiler cast up out there with me and Phenom Black. If you have not seen the movie, but this is y'all warning. Do not come into this because we talking all the spoilers in the world. Like the fact that Thanos came in and just said, you know what? This is my movie now. It's not y'all movies. It's mm-hmm. mine. Fam, I've seen a meme today where he had on Debo sweater, the Debo flannel. Bruh. And I was just yeah. like, yeah, yeah, pretty much. What universe? Didn't nobody, didn't no, didn't nobody have a brick? Didn't Somebody in our... Brick. Facebook group said that I thought he was going to take two whole movies to get the Infinity Stones and that nigga picked up all the Infinity Stones like he was running errands after work. I said, <laughs> Which took I, a lift I everywhere. He just had that. multiple destinations. Like, he knew where he was going. Yo, so let's, I mean, before, let, before we get into what we like about the movie, let's go around the room, kind of introduce ourselves real quick and then we'll definitely get into it. Uh, Lloyd, where can I find you at? And we'll get this out the way first. Y'all can find me on my couch, curled in a fetal position, okay, <laughs> looking at all my ashtrays. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I see what you did there. Okay. okay, play cousins. I'm stressed, but if you're looking for me on the internet, you can find me on Twitter and IG at that girl underscore Lloyd. If you're looking for me in the podcast world, you can listen to me on Houston. We have a problem podcast, the best podcast on his network. Mm. Hush, Aaron. We don't need your commentary right this now. Respect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> whatever okay when you're Beyonce you can be that um, and I'm scratched y'all I'm scratched so if you're gonna hear my nails tapping I'm sorry not really but I, I gotta do something with this energy I don't know what to do I low key wanna fade into the abyss my damn self but you know. <laughs> what about you oh, Fig? Oh. Where, where can they find you at Fig Blurman you can find me at Fig Blurman at fuck you underscore B-L-E-R-D-M-A-N on Twitter the website AJ will join us at some point in time uh, to chime in um the Merit to Shade would have recorded tonight, but, you know, we kind of in, in mourning uh, after this movie. So you'll get a little taste of that tonight, and we'll we'll, we'll be back with you. Well, well, we'll talk about when we come back. But, yeah, that's it. I don't understand you, guys. Uh, I can't wait to talk about this shit. See why. We'll deal with you. Hey, man. We're going to keep it short and simple. We're going to get straight to it. You can find me at C-E-E-W-H-Y-612. No Anywhere doubt. on the internet. I feel like we're gonna need time. So yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. And uh, Rock, what's good with you, bro? What's good? What's good? What's good? It's your boy Rock, and you can find me at CVS getting that gamma radiation Viagra for my boy Hulk. I mean, you can find me. <laughs> uh... <laughs> you can find me at Ronald McDale on Facebook. Let's blast off. No doubt. No doubt. See how the fuck am I supposed to relax? Okay. <laughs> I ain't read all these goddamn comics. I ain't got no idea how this is supposed to end. And what I googled yesterday did not make me any more comfortable. Yeah. Uh, so Google what? basically said there's no way to beat Thanos, and I don't. I don't. I don't like that answer. <laughs> well, look. I mean, there's, real there's, talk. There's, there's got to be a way to beat Thanos. I, just in my opinion, I know y'all are gonna have yours, but there's gotta be a way to beat Thanos because Doctor Strange said he knew all the angles, and there this was Doctor, only one way to this do Doctor it. Strange is, is is an idiot. Okay, uh, fuck this Doctor. No, 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 no. This Doctor Strange. No, you're not listening to what I'm saying. Doctor Strange said I saw all the angles, and there's only one way to do this shit. There's only one way to win. So anything he, any move he's making from now on is moving towards that. So there's no all this sh- 
<laughs> Yo, on, isn't, there, isn't there another movie? Well, no, but he's dead. He's dust. Well, I yeah. Know, but obviously, in the next. Children, children, I know you guys are getting excited. Okay, because that's yeah. not nerd on this review. Yeah. I want to call this to order. Bring yeah, it back. I, I was trying one to. One at a time. I think I was, we should make Lordia the sergeant at arms. I think that's a good role for her to play. Well, I was just going to say, let's take it in order. Let's go around the room, and I want everybody to tell, tell me what their initial thoughts were going into the movie, what their expectations were, if they had any. And I will start with the nine nerd. Um, Lloyd, uh, what okay. were your expectations going in? So I expected to go back to Wakanda. And as I went to the movies in a predominantly white area, um, and it was pretty much a whole, a whole bunch of white people and like a couple black people sprinkled, but just shout out to the culture because as soon as we heard them drums, me and the other five black people in the theater, we was turning. We turned up. <laughs> white people. Mm, true. Every visit to Wakanda I get, I'm going to be turned. Um, so I definitely enjoyed seeing Wakanda again. I enjoyed seeing Shuri again. I enjoyed seeing the Dora Milaje because they're like my favorite part of the whole Black Panther story for me personally. I enjoyed seeing bearded Captain uh, America. I was like, hmm, okay. Who this man? <laughs> <laughs> well, because y'all people Baku had one line, not in English. <laughs> I was like, y'all talking about Y'all don't recognize this dude has some swag. Y'all couldn't negate this dude. They must not have known it was coming. No, yeah, they he didn't know. Did, he he like, did have one line guy. in English. That nigga was like, world star. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so what else did I enjoy? I, of course, I enjoyed seeing Black Panther again. I thoroughly enjoy. I realized I like low-key be a Black Widow stan. Not more than Shuri, because that's my bitch. Like, in the Marvel Universe, that's who I'm standing hey. for. She's my Beyonce. Black Fuck everybody. Okay. Black Widow Black will give you those hands. She just because, first of all, round of applause because sis don't have no superpowers None. except not giving a fuck. And she be right out now. here holding her hands, holding her own against aliens, super beings, just out here coming with that work. That, like, that fight sequence was, that that was all the best fighters. Like hand hand fighters, best scrappers. No, in the, you talking about when it was down in the pit? Or just yeah, her? when it was her and um, uh, okay. uh, Okoye. Which yeah. that was, that was a clear. Wasn't there one the more person? Fans. No, it was just it was just them it two for a second. Koye and then this, uh, the the red haired chick, which I just learned his name is Scarlet Witch. I gotta learn that chick's real name in the yeah, movie. Yeah, Scarlet Witch was down there. Yeah, you know, that was a good. She landed last, and then you know, legendary side eye and uh, comedic timing. Right. Koye was like, "Why was she upstairs this whole time? Like, <laughs> listen, listen, right. listen, where have you been? Right. Love that part. Um, God, God, I love how funny front. this movie was. Like. It was so funny. Like the com comedy of it was what kept me going because by the middle of it, I was like, um, I think we should all just take a time out, guys. Um, but you know what? The one person I was noticeably absent for me, and I know that she probably has other movies she's doing, was Lupita. Yeah. I was looking for, yeah, I wanted her to come in through the clutch and do something. I don't know. Why the fuck did they, why did they put the whack ass guards to, to guard Shuri? Okoye in Black Widow should have been upstairs guarding Churi. Like, sorry, that was those are my favorite parts. My least favorite parts was watching everybody turn into ash. <laughs> <laughs> Stressing. Oh, oh shit! Really? All right, what what about you? Part of that is when he turned that gun in Gamora's hand into bubbles. I was like, you a petty ass nigga, Thanos. And I'm like, hey. <laughs> what about you, Cy? What what was your expectations going in? My expectations going in. The only expectation I didn't watch many. Um, like trailers or anything like that but my expectation going in was to feel the way I always feel at the end of Marvel movies and I did not yep yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah. that is it, I, I didn't hear what, the last part repeat that real quick I said the way my expectation was to go to leave from the movie feeling like I always feel at Marvel movies and I did not oh yeah mm -hmm. definitely mm -hmm. That's fair. I did not. I did, I knew people was gonna die. Shit. I was at the office writing down a poll like, who things gonna die? Like the day of. I knew people was gonna die, but I just I felt I felt kind of cheated. Here's my thing. I felt like it was. I felt like it was a money grab. More people were gonna die, not everybody. everybody? <laughs> the way they the way they did it, I was just like, mm. when it got down to the last 30, 45 minutes, I was like, okay, how are we gonna wrap this up? Like, what's gonna happen? And it felt like it was kind of rushed and last couple but i enjoyed but yeah anyway i'm going too deep i'm sorry i'm sorry yes i i expected to feel a certain way and i did not feel that way what about you uh rock man all right so you know it's no secret i think it was it was one of these reviews i was saying you know i just didn't i ain't have much hope for thanos because the way they were building them up with the stingers and the guess i'll have to do this shit myself all that <laughs> bullshit i was like 
I was like, this nigga is whack. You know, like just these big bads. So I was just kind of, and, and also knowing, you know, knowing the comic, I'm like, you know, it, Dormammu, I'm like, these celestial figures aren't, you know, they don't transform, you know, they don't transfer well to screen. Um, so I was just like, I just don't know what they're going to do. You know, Steve, you know, Dr. Strange, he just doesn't have the, the, the level of earned wisdom that his comic had, his comic counterpart had. So I was just kind of like, I just don't know what they're going to do. And then they, um, they just did a course correction. Like they was just kind of like, yeah, yeah. Like all, all these shit. niggas from Marvel's record. We, not, not even. I'm talking about Thanos. I'm talking about because another thing I said I was like Thanos needs a story. Like we need to be able to yeah. be invested in who he is for him to. They be made happy. him too big before we got to see him, and I was like, damn, we don't even know this motherfucker. Right, yeah. right. So because so, they came, they 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 started out the movie, and I was just like, whoa, I, you're not even gonna let me see the scrap, and everybody's okay with this. Oh, okay, all right. So they immediately, <laughs> they immediately was like, you know what? We're gonna do an origin movie for um, but and that just says how epic the character is. This dude's origin story <laughs> ruined the universe as we know it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's and how, yes. I mean, also that's how he started with I, us. Are you serious? I don't really want to get into whether you're right or wrong about the course correction because. I don't think there was a correction there if this was always the course. Like, this yeah. is going, like you, you see what I'm saying? I like, want to interrupt this moment to say I'm proud of myself because I've seen most of these Marvel movies I, with the exception of Ant-Man and the Thors. Yeah, yeah, you actually was catching up. I was trying to get you uh, to kind of recap a couple of them, but, you know. Yo, Aaron, yo, yo, can I, y'all hear me? Yeah, now. Now. Okay, now I was making sure. I turned, um, sorry to interrupt everything, because uh, AJ couldn't hear anything uh, from the the headphones. Uh-huh. So I turn the speakers on. Are we echoing or anything? I'm not. I'm not hearing anything. Aaron. Yeah, I'm not hearing anything. The timestamp for this. Uh, 11... Twenty-three. Thank you. Twenty-three eleven. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, maybe like a couple seconds before. You know, I know yeah. that uh, AJ is going to want her name bleeped out probably. Yeah. And did... we just want to get rid of all this because we was on a good flow. Right. Okay. Yeah. I, you know, I'll be keeping my eye on the time, but I'm proud of me. I'm gonna go watch the Thor's now because now I'm a little bit more interested because I need to know. I need the answers. Well, well, even, even the dark world, world the, I yeah. think the dark world, uh, you know, did a lot for for this uh, for this storyline. Yeah, you yep. know, mm-hmm. so and and you know, and that's another thing they kept. Uh, another thing I was wondering what they were gonna do was since the the movies had such different tones, especially recently with Thor. So I was just like, yo, how is this all gonna get meshed together? So I, I got to admit, I was a little like, I don't know, but. Um, you know, once he, once we once I let go of a lot of that shit, and I said, "Yo, if nigga, if you don't just take this ride," yeah. and as soon as I as soon as I told myself that, I was like, "All right, like it's Bruh. going down." For a real shit, as soon as I as soon as I hit that moment, I see Peter Dinklage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he kind of took it out. He took me out. Nah. Um, I was like, he took me out for a second, but then I was like, "Hold on, Thor is ridiculous sometimes." So. Peter Dinklage is a giant. Work. Okay, yeah. that's yeah. fine. He's still bow legged. It's cool. <laughs> and he did his Peter Dinklage thing, and he kept it, you know, as limited to a bow leg as he could, and he acted very well, and it was good. Man, I don't know, man. He, there was a moment he got a little silly, like when he was like, "That's what I said." Said. <laughs> and that's, I don't know. I don't. I don't know how you can see a moment where a dwarf is filmed and depicted as a giant. And not be thoroughly entertained. That just sounds like magic movies to me. I don't know. What about you, Fee? What were your expectations going in? Um, I think I let AJ uh, go first. Oh, mm-hmm. she's waving to me now. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> right on. Uh, so I I had I had not low expectations. Like I wasn't looking at it on some um uh Batman v Superman, but after Black Panther, um I knew it couldn't beat that, and it didn't overall. Um, here we go. But no, see you. We listen, go. we gonna have a fanboy intervention Shit. for Aaron before this is over. This ain't, but this ain't about. Aaron this ain't no negativity or criticism bro, about the children. children. Go ahead and go. Children, <laughs> say your oh, piece. Feet. But no, no. So what I was trying to say was, um, uh, I I had a lot of the same fears that Rock did going in. Like I wasn't sure how they were gonna do Thanos. I knew they weren't gonna do the full story about death, and I think that was a smart choice 
just because that was more abstract than, you know, the movie universe had been. Um, and, you know, and I was like, man, there's so many characters, you know, they did it right once. Can they do it again? Yada, yada, yada. Uh, and I was, I was not so much surprised as impressed that they knocked everything I was fearful of out of the park. They had a couple other issues that, you know, I'll get to eventually. I'm sure we'll have enough time for me to nitpick, even though I don't think it's a nitpick in this situation. But just overall, I was expecting the my thing I was looking forward to the most was figuring out the next phase stuff. And that was what I was most excited excited about. Like, are they gonna sneak the Fantastic Four in? Um, are we gonna get, you know, Beyonders and shit? Um uh, and they didn't do any of that, but I was still satisfied because of what they actually did, which was this really deep, you know, uh heart wrenching story. Um yeah, it's real. That's really that. That's you know, that's my first response. That shit was great. So for me, I have stopped going in with. Well, for the most part, I try to put my comic book knowledge out of the way when it comes to these movies. I know how these characters. Uh-huh. They. This is the thing about me and the Marvel movies. They get the characters correct. I don't really care about how they're twisting a story. The story. Yeah, like I don't care how they're twisting the story around or co- combining a couple comics because honestly, this isn't Infinity War. This is more Thanos quest than it is Infinity War if we want to get it technical. Is, it is. You know, but the fact that they took the pieces they had on the board and put them in a way that the general public, like even if you go into this movie, never have seen any of the other movies, halfway through the movie, you understand the plot, you know the main characters, and mm-hmm. they still didn't hold anybody's hand when it came to this. This was a reward for 18 other movies. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, if you've seen every single one of those movies, when the Red Skull pops back up, you stand the fuck up out of your chair because you're like, wait a minute. Yeah. I ain't seen Red yeah, Skull no. in eight years. But for I the, definitely, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they. The, I was also like, where they been hiding you, sis? Right. So. <laughs> So so j- just think about this. Marvel Studios, and I said this a long time ago, they made normal people into comic book fans. When y'all like these Marvel movies, guess what you like? You like comic books because that's all they're doing. And I, I just got to, you know, call me a fanboy if you want, but I got to get my hats off. They have, they have had 19. Stand dog, out. Dog, they have, they have had 19 movies in a row. And at the worst, you can say is one of the movies was okay. Yeah, you can't say they've made it bad. I've never seen a streak like this in history. Iron Man three. You said what? Iron Man three is the okay movie. Yeah, so people don't like Iron Man three, and people don't like the Dark World. Like those are the two ones that everybody sticks out. Like, hey, we don't really care with those. But now <laughs> seeing this movie, Thor's growth can't happen without the Dark World. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Right. Uh-huh. Iron Man, yep. Iron Man, and his PTSD, which was addressed in Iron Man Three, can't lead Tony to build the bleeding edge armor. You know what I'm saying? If he just gives up, you know what I'm saying? So like everything right. plays okay. into, plays into each other. And I, like I said before, I'm I, I don't want to say it yet. I've seen the movie three times, but this might be one of my favorite movies of all time because of the rewards. So when you say, you know. If, if I'm a fanboy or not, I'm saying from a excuse me from a strictly um, film perspective, I don't know how the fuck they did this. It was like every time you you laugh for two seconds and they said, "Uh, here's another gut punch, ha 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 ha, huh? Here's another gut punch," and it shouldn't mm-hmm. it shouldn't have fucking worked the way it did. That's mm-hmm. all I got to Cause, say because they did the same thing with Guardians two. And mm-hmm. it didn't quite work in Guardians 2. In Guardians 2, I found myself saying, just let us be there for the for the moment. Even though Guardians 2 still had good gut punches, I just felt like it was more forced there. Here, not so much. One also quick thing is this is the most comic booky it's of yes. all of the movies. They, they they said like really. They literally said, fuck what y'all thought. We're not holding y'all hands for anything. If you've seen this movie, I am assuming that you have seen at least five of these other movies. <laughs> Go. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? So, AJ, what were well, you? Well, that's what. Oh, well, thank you. You're welcome, um, sis. <laughs> so, I-, I thought the movie was really good. I'm actually with, um, with Aaron. This may 
be my favorite, at least comic book movie of all time. Um, I had like no expectations going in because I read no comic books and I did not um, know much of like the Thanos lore. But I love the way they blended characters. Like I wasn't expecting Thor to spend most of the movie with Rocket. And, you know, like the way they cross worlds. You mean the God of Hammers. That's his name for the rest of his life. Oh, oh, okay. Well, rabbit. The God of and, and Rabbit. And the Rabbit. Oh, and, and the Rabbit. <laughs> true, true. You're right. You're right. Come Duh. with me, you Rabbit. <laughs> so, I mean, hey, so you notice, you notice, the Rocket. Way, let let AJ me. finish her thought, guys. The way, I was Oh. The way <laughs> they blended worlds was really, really awesome. And I don't know how they did it. And it captivated me. And I love anything that Peter Dinklage is in. So, I mean, it was just, just rock. I liked it. Yeah, I was with you, sis, until, until that part. I was with you, girl. I was with you. But I blame him for the universe being gone and everybody looking like my ashtray. Oh, well. Well, he did. He, I guess he did make the Infinity yeah, Gauntlet. Yeah. I blame Peter Quill. So we want to want to go to negatives oh. real quick. Uh, oh, wait. Peter, who's Peter Dinklage? Is not the same person? No, okay. Peter Nicholas. No. He's the giant. That oh. Was, I, so I said his Too many like, Peters. Name. Peter Parker, Peter Dinklage. Yeah, you got to call him by the giant. Yeah. Or Tyrion. You should have said Tyrion. Sorry. I would have known him. <laughs> Nigga moment. You know, Tyrion. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, Tyrion. So, uh, you know what, though? Usually usually I would have said Tyrion. I'll say tall Tyrion or something, but I'm sorry. I'm off tonight. So, so let's get the negatives out the way, and then let's just gush, out, gush over this movie, because... More than anything, even feek your negatives, I'll eat like oh, whatever because I know some of what your negatives are, and right. for the most part, everybody else probably only has one or two. So let's get them out the way now, and then let's just talk about the, our favorite fucking parts of this movie. Um, I'll start with you. <clears throat> Excuse me, feek. I'll start with you um, if you could. Uh, I feel like maybe we should talk about negatives for the rest of the show. Yeah, that's gonna be a long conversation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, no. Actually, AJ, I will, will not. I will. I will. Yeah, I was about to say. I, I was about to say. I will not stand for this trolling. <laughs> show. It's not trolling. <laughs> Go ahead. So Go ahead. the Gamora thing with her sister, that was a negative to me. I didn't. I had to like reach far in my memory bank to remember how they set that up. I don't know about you guys. I do remember the scene from. I guess it was the last Guardians. Guardians. No, so it was okay. So yeah, so I remember the scene, but it wasn't to me. That wasn't done well. That that setup, that storyline, kind of it. It was, it was a, a flub a bit. Yeah, yeah. So um, to to amplify my wife's words here. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Rock. Shut up. Um, uh, I, I agree with her. I think Gamora. So the biggest mistake this movie made didn't happen in this movie. And it happened, it happened like, well before this movie when they cast yeah, it. It happened Louis like Aldana when the Guardians one come exactly. Out. When the Guardians one come out? 2013, 14. 2013. Don't let me get to lie. I don't know. I'm just making shit up. Yeah, it was it was a minute ago. So that is so the biggest mistake they made is casting Zoe Saldana as Gamora. Right. Um, now I don't blame them too much because they probably didn't know this was the route they were going because they keep everything with Thanos vague until. Um, Guardians, essentially, uh, essentially this movie. Like, I don't know if anything was known about them at all. I guess a little bit in Guardians too. We get they start to seed it. Uh, but Zoe Saldana is not a good actress to play a character who needs to have, who needs to create emotional gravitas towards them. Does that gravitas. make sense? I'm gonna have to Google this word. That was a GRE word. I wasn't ready. <laughs> but long story short, she's not very likable. She can play a badass, and that was like that was why she was cast, and that works and makes sense. But like, as soon as she killed, when she killed, fake killed Thanos, started crying. I was like, eh, really? All right. And and her relationship with Star Lord seems forced too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it seems like like he, she feels like he's the only dude alive. Like that. Y'all better call that nigga <laughs> Peter better. fucking uh Quill. Quill. Star Lord. Sorry. He lost Luke that Cole. title. Yeah. yeah. And so, like, hey, I feel like I feel like that group, um, the uh, I feel like that group translated best over all of these movies. Oh, right. the Guardians! Oh, right. hell yeah, so, absolutely. You know, that's yep. true. That's true. I, I agree with that. But just to kind of finish my point, so like her, so her character being like a person you would sympathize with, and then kind of 
latched on to her relationships, her relationship with Nebula, her relationship with Thanos was super important to the ethos of the movie. And it didn't it didn't work for me. It was just kind of like, eh, I kind of don't care that she just got thrown off a cliff. That's kind of fucked up. You know, that should have been a really dramatic, awful moment. And I was just like, all right. Yeah, for like me, for the, me, the negative took was him, not hearing her go flat when she hit the bottom. I wanted that. <laughs> her that. her blood wasn't green enough. Oh, there was blood. Now we get now we get into too much. Yeah, see, I just yeah, wanted to hear her go like flat. Green, red. Yeah, there was no. Splat. A little bit of a little. Don't something. No. <laughs> Bolo macaroni. What are you doing? Jeez. I'm just. I wanted to hear her hit the different rocks as she went down, like you know. Okay, calm down, killer Dexter. Just saying. Shit. Anybody else could have done a better job. What is the other negative? Not seeing Nakia. You know what I was really waiting for, honestly, and it's such a, a minute thing, and I'm sure I'm gonna get it in the next movie. I was waiting for the scene with Tony Stark and Shuri. Now I kind of got that feel from the Tony yeah. Stark and Doctor Strange thing, but I really want to see him taking it from a black woman. That's or just me. The, the 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 Bruce Banner with Shuri, he got a, he got a little bit of it. Yeah, yeah. well, that's what I was about to say. Him and Jarvis were both even. The thing about Bruce Banner is he's not arrogant with his ideas just like that. Yeah, True. well, but it was funny because if you looked at Jarvis, even or I'm sorry, Vision. <laughs> Uh, if I was, I was calling by a slave name. Um, what kind of forever? Um, but if you looked at Vision, even Vision was like, uh, eight, oh, yeah, yeah she's right, <laughs> she's right. <laughs> but I'm saying I did, it's not gonna give me the same feeling because I don't got no beef with them. Mm-hmm. Like, both of them, they know they're smart, they know they're incredibly intelligent, but they're not Look, assholes oh, about it. Sis, like, you don't have any beef. With the Hulk right now, you don't have. I got beef with the Hulk. No, I don't have beef with the I Hulk. I got no beef with a nigga that know that he can't win that battle and decide to just opt out. I got beef. I got beef with Vision for getting stabbed in the forehead like 16, 11 times. <laughs> Guard your forehead. Yeah, we we never Put really the got the we never got the vision we deserve for real. True, and we probably won't. We, I mean, we probably will. Uh, when? Uh, I, I don't think I don't vision, think it's gonna happen in the next vision. movie. No, stop. When it, look when he says that he's been right. Just don't speak against him. Just keep your. I mean, to when it's when it's come to most of these movies, DC not included, I will admit, I've been pretty fucking right. I it's say, like it, I, just cowboys in the nineties. It's like after a certain point, just either bet with them or just stop. Just stop. Uh, but to bring it back, what other what what are your other negative speaks? Give us your bullet points. Yeah, not... yeah, bullet points, bro. Uh, so. Just let's see. So um, Peter Quill, we kind of already touched on. I thought that was a forced moment. Um, like I get that they we had to have a moment where they almost got it. I just find his uh, actions there. I mean, there's a reason why everybody's like fuck Peter Quill because it was too egregious. You know what I'm saying? Like I can maybe like they could have maybe let Spider Man be the person to fuck up, and people would have been more sympathetic. So to him fucking up. So can I can I give you something that might change how you feel about his, their relationship um of course um you can Gar- try well, just a little bit i know people are worried about it's been like their relationship gamora and star lord was forced but it's two years have passed between guardians 2 and this so they've had two uh. they, and they state kind of stated in the movie the third time you see it is when i when i saw it is when i picked up on it so the timeline is for two years for past everything so like Black Panther is two years older. Everybody's two years older. Only thing okay. that's happening right now is Thor, because that was right on the timeline. So, I mean, yeah, I hear, it, but you still gotta, you still gotta show it to some extent. You know what I mean? Well, like, I mean, they had, they had all of the the first movie halfway through. They started getting together. They had the whole second movie, and I mean, to be quite honest, the truth of it is, and I and I have your back on this a little bit. If they, if we could sit through a four-hour movie, we'd probably get all that stuff we're about to nitpick about. But mm-hmm. true, they had to, I they had to wrap it up. B, I they had that. to wrap it up. And speaking yeah. of wrapping it up, what were your final points, feet? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, By that's that's about it. Uh, I, I could have used more Captain America and, and T'Challa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would right. Captain America in this black suit, though. Yes, <laughs> I love black. The Did y'all peep the little moment? Little, they had a couple of really cool nods to comic book fans. 
Yeah. Like watch Captain America and Black Panther Run sprint out side by side. Everything. Oh my was god, dope. Yeah. No, 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 yeah, yeah, and from the no, angle they had at light speed. speed. Hold on, it wasn't side by side though. Black Panther was a good, uh, you know, meter or two. In oh, front well, of that's because he's Tony started. I mean, because uh, Cap started second. You know what I'm saying? They was no, keeping. No, I think that was on purpose. I think they, they might. I mean, make, they might have. Yeah, they're seeding the reality, and this is you know you know this that you know Panther is uh, in terms of just like physical prowess in that whole, you know, superhuman, super soldier, whatever, that he's actually a step or two above Cap and whoops his ass on, like, seven different occasions yeah. in the comic. Yeah, he, he beat the entire Fantastic Four by himself the first time he met him. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> Black Panther ain't really in this universe, too? Him. No, oh, they're not. Them niggas like Glass yeah. Joe. <laughs> so, right. Um, but then, that's all the negatives I got. Uh, I think Rock has some. Rocks definitely has some. Well, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, I've read some of your previous thoughts in other forums. Just all I'm saying. So, so first, first and foremost, you heard me say this already. Uh, what the fuck, Thor? You don't need the hammer anymore. And as a matter of fact, it's Beta Ray Bills. Put that shit down. It don't even belong to you. That shit don't even belong to you. But you know what I mean? So that was just something that I thought was just nerdy. I was just like, man, they said that you are not my, the god of hammers. Put the shit down. My nerd senses wanting to correct you are very, very much tingling right now. And I'm not going to correct you. <laughs> <laughs> so so are you saying that that whole point about him not needing it was, it was at the end of the movie how he actually won in that circumstance was bullshit? No, what I'm saying is, A, that's not Beta Real Ray Bill's hammer. He got it from that's Thor. Not? No, he got it. Odin made it for Thor and sent it out into the world. It was supposed to be for Thor. It wasn't just for Beta Ray Bill. Bill got it. He was the first one that was worthy. I'm, I'm not going to do yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, no, no. You're right. You're, <laughs> I'm not you're, you're right. All right that's, <laughs> enough. that's enough. Niggas you ain't dumb. Right, Lord, you're not to nerd out. Lordia, stop this. Stop this. Boy. You are about <laughs> to nerd out. See, y'all. Back. All right, but the Earth point that I'm really making is he is not supposed to be the hammer is supposed to make the man. The man's supposed to make the hammer. Right. Anyway. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Um and, and like I said, I don't understand what the hell this is about. Really. So in, in <laughs> Thor in the third Thor, which so if you haven't seen the Lord, that would I would go there early because that was like a one of the better ones the last couple of years. Yeah. Okay, um, so I can't I can watch the last one first and get the gist of it because Oh yeah. Yeah. I would I mean, the first oh, yeah. two are gonna be not even want to watch the last one. Yeah, but the last of, one is Fucking amazing. The first two help build his story, and the last one is like, I'm fully formed Thor. Yeah. You know? Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'd rather just deal and, with fully And that's the reason why it was it was disappointing for him to, to need that. Because it was is that like the name of the show? Fully Were formed you? Thor? Is that too too much? <laughs> <laughs> possibly. Possibly. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, I just thought that that was—I just thought it, it took away from from the character, and you know, I thought it was lazy writing, honestly. Um, another piece that I that got on my nerves was uh, I felt was forced the whole Vision and uh, Scarlet Witch piece because it's like you knew exactly what they were going to try to build up for uh, yeah. at the end, and you know, the whole uh, I can't, bitch, you are a superhero. If you, you don't quit movie? fucking playing. Yo, this dude is, is destroying everything. Everything. Are you kidding me? If you don't do what you gotta do, he'll be gray and back. That's why you gotta take your time when you're dating people, okay? That's well, you gotta find a but, woman that's willing to kill you for the greater good, right, AJ? Well, <laughs> well but no, 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 no. Real quick, real quick. So it just, at the end, it just, I for me, that whole back and forth it, it kind of ruined the momentum for me because it was just like, eh, this was, I saw this coming a million miles away. And so, just, go ahead. Let me, I'm going to play the role of Aaron real quick in terms of like explaining the ethos there. Cause I was with you initially, and then, you know, I, I like to dive into my favorite YouTubes. And you might have seen this already because you like Wisecrack too. Mm -hmm. um, Wisecrack released a video kind of like using philosophy to predict what will happen in the next movie mm -hmm. in some form or fashion, not completely, obviously. Uh, and so it was really dope. They pointed out, and I noticed this, but I didn't notice it, that um, three or four, uh, two or three different times the heroes were at, basically like given the decision, exactly. will we trade? You were going one exactly of, where I was going, absolutely. Right. So, yeah, uh, will, will we trade one of our lives? For the greater good of the universe. Right. And it's been the reoccurring said, theme. Huh? 
It's been a reoccurring theme. Yeah. Right. And so they either said no or they tried and they failed miserably, like the fucking bubbles and Thanos coming and fucking bringing him back to life just to kill his ass again with that big ass dent in his forehead. Um, so, so the point of like her them hesitating was to kind of illustrate how wrong it is. Meanwhile, um, Thanos, you know, he shared a tear or two for Gamora, then he just pelted her ass off the fucking cliff. It was like, look, it's for the greater good. And no, 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 uh, I, I'm with you. No, no, I get, the, I get the concept of. It. I think Sam, even... can we talk about that moment real quick when he just pretty much Nino Brown, New Jack City, G Money off the cliff? Yeah. That. Yeah, nigga, it's 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 business. It's never <laughs> personal. Nigga. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I'm actually starting to feel like Zoe Saldana is just a bad actress. I mean, like, <laughs> she's a new well, I didn't want to be the one to say it. Because but... <laughs> I mean, she when she tried to turn around, like, ha, ha, you don't love nobody. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bad. watch me now. That watch shit me. was bad. <laughs> Watch me. Watch me. I came for the watcher, like and hope. For me, as a non-comic book fan, for her to have such an important role in the overall story, once I started thinking about it after seeing this movie, I'm like, damn, y'all picked the wrong person for this. Yeah. I mean, they, they, they lightweight could have did better with the sister. Like, you know, the reason why I ripped you apart was because I wanted to make you stronger and I love you. Da da da. Anyway, but nerding out. All right, so, um. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna hand it off. No, okay. you, you sure you done? Hello. Am I done or am I finished? Oh. So all right, here is here's <laughs> the other, here's the other, I guess the only other thing that I can think of is Marvel. In some ways, I feel like it's like an iPhone, like Apple products. Like they just know you in. No, they they know you 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 bought all of these apps and subscriptions. They just know you in. And like the whole course correction with Thanos, even though I thought it was great, this Thanos was fucking awesome. I it just bothers me that I don't feel like they that they were going this direction. I felt like it was an obvious course correction. It worked, you know. So in a lot of ways, it's like it's it's just it, it feels yeah, like we're not we're not at hard as hard. We can start Excuse being me. more hard on them. I think this is to kind of piggyback a uh, rock. This movie showed that they can do a little bit more than what they've been doing because they've missed. So they haven't came out with a bad movie. Right. But they've had missed opportunities. Um, a perfect example is comparing Black Panther to um, uh, Doctor Strange. Like Black Panther wasn't a Mar- wasn't hardly a Marvel movie at all. It just happened to be set in the Marvel Universe. Um, and that's true. because they gave it to a writer and a director with a vision like apart from the core uh, ethos of the movies, but within the ethos of the character and the story. Doctor Strange, yep. flip side, was a huge missed opportunity in my opinion. It was it's freaky and weird and fucking yeah. uh, cryptic and metaphysical, and it was just yep. it was just cute, you know. <laughs> seriously it was just a reason to get him in there like he's not the Dumbledore we deserve right like right. imagine if Doctor Strange was coming into this movie and we knew Doctor Strange was on some shit you yeah. know what I'm saying yeah right. instead he was yeah. like he was we feel way there. different about those moments right exactly I mean he's he's like another Tony Stark like in a lot of ways them together was just kind of like nigga y'all twins but that's right. what they are. Yeah, they're twins. But that's the other thing. They're that's the, the other same thing character. About Strange, like he's like, he's he seems like one of those characters. Like when the fight gets big, then he comes out. He doesn't yeah, come out. Yeah, for that's just that's anything. yeah, that's one. That's two things. One, they're the same character. Nah, like, uh, no, in the in the, the comics. No, when the last movie? Pause, pause, ahead, pause, pause. When is the last time you read a, read a Doctor Strange comic? I've, I have. If has it has it been in the t- last right, ten I, I, years? I, I, has I, I, it been I, I, in the last been twenty? A long time. I haven't so read you don't. Doctor Strange I mean, since I was come on, come on, dog. Like you're reading them as a kid. You're not reading them as an adult. Like but, that's but what. That, also, but you pay can't to the character. Like I don't have to read the comic to pay attention to the character. Yes, you do. Like, the kids in other media. Okay. Is Doctor okay, Strange more intense or flippant? Yeah, yeah, no, Doctor Strange still has a level of wisdom that Tony Stark doesn't have. But this yeah, is that's... but but this is a different Doctor Strange. Like we have to keep that in yeah. mind. Like we no can't... no no. I'm I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm just saying we lost something. I think we lost something with this Doctor Strange. 
You know, I mean, especially this guy has the time gem. That means he can live like he can be a lot. He can have lived even longer than Thor. Right. In theory. So this person is supposed to have this kind of air of wisdom and, and really even separation from humanity uh, on, in a level to make decisions. Just like y'all are talking about, you know, the um, the decisions that we struggle with to be moral decisions. He's so beyond that. I mean, just like an actual God, he can't even think about things on a human level anymore. But no, we get Tony Stark. I say, nigga. That's that's <laughs> but that's not who he is in the comics. Like that's not you're you know, that, you're I asking that, for a character that's a, not there. Like period. I think there's I like I like Doctor Strange way better in these like comic book uh cartoons on Netflix, like these animes on Netflix. Like his presence in those shows are way better than what it is on the movie. Sure. Yeah, on the, uh, well, like, I mean yeah, but that's the, the big, but they are closer to the comics. Like like the characters right. That's, that's the thing. Like the only thing I, I, I totally got what you were saying when you were like he's just like Tony Stark. I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah like that's that. if you read the comic books. I mean, yeah, that's he's, what he's he, arrogant. Yeah, he's an arrogant that. asshole who's a same the same exact person, dog. He's an arrogant yeah. asshole. Like just think about that that scene in the movie where he was in the condo and he was yelling at old yeah, girl. Yeah, like that's he's the same exact person as Tony Stark, which is why they butted yep. heads in the movie because they're the same fucking person. Like, but I, I mean, I get I get what you wanted, but that's not kind of who the character is in, in my opinion that's just not who the character is i i think they play the character still too young in my opinion for somebody who has, has yeah i mean he literally was a million years with dormammu and came out like he been he really was gone for 10 minutes millions of years son he should at least be quirky this is true All right. this is true i do agree with that like seeing him come out with the dude i can't remember the guy's real name um the one that guards the library who's obviously got way more wisdom than him is still, right. you know, you couldn't even get past him to get a book, boy. <laughs> like, you know, so I'm not saying he's got to be Peter Parker, but I was just like, all right, you already ready for this? But, you know, the nerd in me sunk into it, and I was like, okay, cool. I'm with it. I, 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 I'm here for it. But I did have that thought. I seen him, like, when they first popped out, I was like, mm, okay. Yeah. I even halfway shook you. you you're good. Okay. So with that, I can, I, I can let it go. Yeah. All right, so hey, uh, Feek, could you read that email from what? Yeah, yeah, I'm Ashley back just G. in time. Uh, let me scroll back to it. Okay, this is from Miss G. That was the correct name, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> Who the hell ends a movie like that? And the Oscar nominated movie credits didn't help. My sold out theater was in stunned silence at the end. I did get a little happy when nobody moved until after the credit scene. My one paragraph review. I was a little miffed that Heimdall died first. He should have died second just because. And the fact that Hulk got his ass beat so bad he decided to stay home uh, funny but a little weak. I hope he redeems himself in the next one of my least favorite MCU characters. I'm sorry, hold on, what? I hope he redeems himself. I scrolled and read at the same time. Baby, you know what the fuck I meant. I hope he redeems himself in the next movie. Peter Quill was already <laughs> one of my least the favorite MCU characters. <laughs> <laughs> no, baby, you know what the fuck I meant. <laughs> my trail of reason. Oh, he was already one of my least favorite MCU characters, and now I hate his ass for being an idiot. Almost cursed out the movie screen. Bucky with the good hair. <laughs> That's great. She needs I hate him too, sis. Rucky's good hair looked so damn annoyed when he got his arm. He just wants to stay home and have a boring ass life with Wakanda. <laughs> that's real. I ain't peeped that. That's yeah. true as fuck. He was like, yeah, he's oh, trying to have some little, some little brown babies. He's trying to chill. He did not want to. He's throwing bells of hay. He didn't care. He's about to marry him mm-hmm. tonight. Man. Y'all, y'all, y'all just gonna use me, huh? <laughs> y'all, yeah. y'all just gonna give me the full black experience, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Hey, another another like drop ball. Have... I was waiting for um fucking um Falcon to be like, oh, I should have been like, how did y'all know about this and not tell me? Like, I just need, I need that, will, that will require a level of wokeness from Anthony Mackie that I don't think that we will get. I mean, it, nice. have to be, it just had to be the writer. Nice. Somebody should have ad libbed that shit. 
I was, I was, I was trying to just. Line. They I, probably wrote that line and he refused it. Uh, I, oh, I, I, you know what? I'm, I'm, I was just trying to make fun of Anthony Mackey. That's all. That's it. Uh, he, he just <laughs> wants to stay home and have a born ass home with Wakanda. Infinity War is the first movie to make me cry, and it's mostly because I love Peter Parker. I don't want to go. I did cry a little when watching season three of Luther. Okay, I, I gotta finally get around to watching Luther. Baby, we said we was gonna watch Luther. We never got around. Real um, talk though, why did it take so long for Spider Man to die though? Uh, Spidey Six. Yeah, well, uh, what's the call? That, Pointed that out on yeah. Twitter today. <laughs> yeah, he, he realized it before, way before anybody else, what yeah. was happening. Which is, Nigga, I'm about to die up. in ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, type shit. <laughs> yep. You know, I want to see the movie again, but I'm not sure if my heart can take it. Thanks, guys, Miss G. Hey, as you know, two MVPs I want to shout out real quick. Even though Thor, you know, got some issues. Hey man, when he came in to blow the the doors down, the shit <laughs> yeah, was the shit was he over. No game. He was like, "I he am did. a god. Bruh. I will show y'all I am a god." That Dick nigga work. came Where in and was like, "Twenty three hour work program." Nigga. <laughs> he came in Look, flexing on his ex. <laughs> I did want my rock and roll music. I was missing. I was it, hoping. Actually. I was <laughs> hoping <laughs> they played it. Hey, can you imagine how lit that theater would have got if that would have came on? Listen, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but this this wasn't lit theater movie. No, this was, this this was soul people. crushing, ruining my year movie. Fuck, oh, should have waited. Also, Marvel fucking lies to y'all. I don't know yeah. why y'all think the, these these trailers are gonna have anything in there from the movie. That whole scene when they running all five of them and the Hulk is in the scene ain't right. even in the movie. It right, it, you know, like, <laughs> like, come on, guys. Like, I mean, where the fuck is Hawkeye as Ronan? He's not in the movie. Oh, this not in the movie. Yeah. That shit was they, all they, over they, the internet like a month and a half ago. Yeah. Shit wasn't even there at all. They they yeah, gave fuck. you they gave you the Iron Spider suit and digitally right. erased the legs. The mean ass Iron Spider suit. Yeah, man. they showed sure it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about Spider Man for a second. Let's talk about that scene. <sighs> um, no. I fucking love Spider Man. Uh, I love their rendition of Spider Man so much. This that scene right there sold tickets to the rest of his movies. Yeah, he it just, did. As long as it you did. don't fuck, up. you know, because he he plays that role. Like I don't. It's hard to explain. I didn't like the last two Spider Man movies, um, mostly because well, the, the second one was awful. Uh, the first one was cool, but the thing got, that bothered me a lot while watching it was. Why the fuck is Peter Parker got so much swag and he's so charming and like, like fucking he's a 28 year old, you know, fucking graphic designer, hipster in the middle of the city and shit. Like, like, no, that's not Peter Parker. Peter Parker is an awkward teenager with superpowers that just wants good. for Peter Parker is the type of white kid to say some shit like I don't see race and not understand why it's fucked up. And then you'll tell him he'll be like, oh, man, I'm really sorry. (laughs) <laughs> like that is accurate. That is accurate. <laughs> and that's how I imagine him. Yeah. You know, and so Lately, like, that's like how I to watch him scene. die. And you don't get to watch kids die too often on anything. Uh so yeah, that shit was that shit was great. Kudos for that. That it hurt me. They ain't have to do me like that. They ain't hey, have to do me. Like you know that. what I love though, and I know Marvel because there's some assholes, they made sure to wait to the last scene to kill to, to kill T'Challa. They waited oh. to that very last point. Like, did they wait? They waited. No. Nah. Yeah. They did. Remember, they he was one they, of the first. No, he came back. They came back to him. If I'm not mistaken, they came back to him and Okoye, and he was reaching out to Okoye and blew telling her it's gonna be okay. It, telling her it's gonna be okay and blew the fuck away. Right. <laughs> Imagine Okoye. The aftermath of this is gonna be great. So can we start talking about the the the, the like? Uh, Infinity War. Is there of- is there any other scenes like the standout action scenes? My God, when Wanda and Vision were fighting, and all of a sudden out of nowhere, Cap just shows up with his music. Like, oh, yeah, all right. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Wait, real quick before we jump into that, yo, each one of the villains, even the e- e- even the um the henchmen was yeah. like Omega level villain. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about the scraps that. Like, were real. Come on. Like, like, skip all the levels. You got to go like straight it was to the boss. The last battle, the entire movie. Yeah. I mean, yes. hey, what, and once I, again, Black Widow was out there with no motherfucking superpowers, <laughs> no special, man. no, just, just her hands and special skills out there handling Scrap. alien bit boss level beings and new blonde hair. 
And with that cut though, looking good, sis. Hey, Thanks for fighting a good I'm, fight. I'm sorry, I'm Akoya not. out there with her, she was doing it. Oh, like, no, they were oh. doing it. Let me talk. Let me talk about that scene for a minute. Remember how all those uh, memes are going around? Like, would Black Widow beat Akoya and all that shit? Marvel was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just make them fight together. <laughs> like, we ain't gonna have fallen to y'all fanboy shit. They both dope, which I love. Like, they put them on the same level, man. And I, I appreciate that so much as a comic book fan. Stood yeah, out to me. Yeah, and I'm and we still it. got um the Guardians, uh, we still got a fight between like we got a little bit of uh would who beat who. And the Guardians are the, are low key the MVP to me in terms of like their ability to put in comedy relief um yeah. without being forced. Yeah. Because we forget about them because they were very much back like round players. But my mm-hmm. probably my favorite scene of the whole movie is fucking Peter Quill imitating Thor. And just be like, <laughs> he's like a kind of big, kind of good looking guy. So, how did y'all like the pairings of the different superheroes? Because we still have not seen them all in one place. I think that comes next movie. I of think, course, it's coming next movie. Yeah, but what did you, you think got, about the pairings in this movie? I don't, you know what? I think that it made sense to have the people they had together together. You know what I'm saying? Like, Banner. Yeah, they fit their part of the mission. Right. Yeah. Like I it think it, w- it would have been a little weird if Banner stayed with, uh, you know, stayed with Thor and them, because then by that point he probably wouldn't be able to work some stuff out in his head, get Hulk to come out. Like it's good that he was thrown back into. Think about it; he's been gone for since Age of Ultron, Civil War. No, Age yeah. of Ultron. Ultron. Was oh, Ultron? Yeah, he's been gone oh, since damn. then. So he's been gone for what, six years. Yeah. So yeah. he's coming back to remember like that scene where they was like he was like what what's happening Tony what. Y'all what? Y'all don't talk? What's going on? Because yeah. he don't know it's a any Spider-Man of yeah, and an Ant-Man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's real. That's really real. Okay. Uh, I got I got a little bit more remorse for Hulk a little bit. Hulk been through some shit. Yeah. I, I, really thought, I really thought what was going to happen in the movie, I thought Hulk was going to come out because Widow was going to get touched. Like, he was going to see it, and he was going to lose it, and Hulk was going to come out, but it didn't happen. Yeah, yeah. Well, Hulk got his ass whooped like he needs that enough. He got his ass whooped like little bro, like little bro. <laughs> and and they know first time exerted no energy doing that. Like they, he was like, I could do this. I don't all think day. he even breathed. They yeah. were like, let him have his fun. Which is the- obscure, but there's a fuck. There's a move on Tekken from Steve Fox, who's the boxer in the game. Mm, talk about it. You and got he, that move. Th- there's a throw. You know what I'm talking about. There's a throw he has where he just runs around you in a circle and punches you in different parts of your body till you fall down. And like that's what happened here. It was it was like the <laughs> Hulk is pumped. swinging, and this nigga's pulling Floyd Mayweather leans and fucking fake. Hey, can we talk about how brutal this fucking movie was? Like, the ways uh, they were killing niggas? Like, they weren't just regular killing niggas. Like, if everybody just blew away from dust, it'd be different. But at one point, the Guardians were, like, turned into silly putty string and yeah. <laughs> broke yeah. up, broke apart. Like, all these niggas about to be fucked up in the head, like, for right. a long yeah. time. Yeah. And, and I like, like so a, another prop. <laughs> he really is, got all of the stones. Like this was he, he got him so quick. One he, got, he got him halfway. He got all the them movie. shits an hour and a half. I feel like it's only been 37 minutes. <laughs> yo, yo, he went antique. <laughs> <laughs> he went antique. Hey, he, he was just oh, plucking them shits in his infinity gun. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Yo, he got, he, he got the so, he got, we didn't even get to see them beat the guardian beat uh the Asgardians or nowhere. I was just about to bring that up. Like you just got opened up to that. Like, so you already kicked everybody's ass. We don't even get to see that. So everybody did? It's not the party. You know what? All right, for real. Did anybody feel anything when Loki died? No. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean I no, did. Of course I'm, I like did. I said, as the non-nerd, I'm not that invested. I was like, a little yeah. bit, Loki, a little bit. Because I know, I know Loki was scared. Loki, like he, he was really like, okay, we're about to die. Maybe like I could tell the character was scared. So maybe a little bit, but not really. I was like, all right, nigga, whatever, bye. That's all right. Loki has you had know, one of the most interesting arcs in all of the for MCU. For real, real talk. Real talk, All yo. MCU. He's it ain't interesting. It's just that 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 Thor keep trusting the dumbass. <laughs> anyway. I mean, but that's family though. Like he said, no, it's family. Shit. But after a certain fam, after a certain point, the Tesseract, my nigga, Nick, my nigga, the Tesseract. And I can look at his <laughs> eyes too. Was so real. Why are you bringing up old shit? Your brother Why? fucks Why up. You doing <laughs> right. It's like look at his eyes. It's like when you know your brother fucks up. 
but you just be wanting not it not to be true. And it's like <laughs> he looked like oh, I knew you was gonna fuck up. Oh, you, you really know. are the fucking worst. <laughs> Jimmy, did you steal Mama TV? Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Gator. Gator. What was the Gator. Gator. I smoked the Tesseract the Mama. I smoked the Tesseract Mama. <laughs> <laughs> uh, write that down as a show name, please. I smoke the tesseract. I, smoke the tesseract. I think I think we I think I have a that's a winner. Um, uh, I, I, that's all I got. I feel like that's everything right there. So no, it's not. We haven't even covered the most important part. How did y'all feel about Thanos? Hey, Thanos delivered like I told everybody he fucking would. And this is this really should be a show about me grandstanding. I really ain't done enough of that because I <laughs> told y'all up. niggas. Go on, do it. Go on, do I it, baby. I told y'all, ahead. man. Like, cup of coffee. Go ahead, nigga. Like, Marvel, they don't miss, dog. I had no worries about this movie. And you know, I knew when I didn't have any worries about this movie, when a week out, I didn't know what the fuck the movie was about. So, mm. because if anybody, like, you, I, I'm in at the point to where I get movie screeners, like, I, I'm in the actual media so i get updates and shit like that and it's like you can learn a lot about these movies if you really want to mm-hmm. uh-huh mm-hmm. And, yo dog i didn't know anything about this fucking movie true and like for everybody to hold that big a secret for that long you knew it had to be fire like you knew Man. it had to be amazing the I, last I time agree. marvel kept a secret a villain this secret it was making the mantis not racist you mean which was cool, but not as not as I, cool. I will let. I'm not gonna let you cook on that tank. <laughs> did you cut me off? I thought you kicked me off the show. I almost did. Nigga. That bad. <laughs> now, I will say this though. Again, that's part of the reason why Zoe Saldana was so horrible. Like next to Josh Brolin. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. he's a in phenom- purple makeup. In purple. I mean, in purple makeup and layers of CG. No, his act- it was all CG. The only thing that was, he was motion capped that entire thing, that entire uh, recreation. None of that was real. Not one hey. single bit of it, which is, you know, what is real? Sang. Him ruining my damn summer. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. Like, what? <laughs> Y'all want me to go see this again? No, I ain't got it. Okay, I can't do it. So, uh, how were the uh, people in your lives' reactions? Like, how were y'all theaters when y'all, like, because in my theater, it was, the first time I saw it, obviously, it was a bunch of hard asses, so they didn't clap or shock or any of that shit. But the second time I saw it, I saw it with a bunch of, like, the true nerds, and bruh, they were so into this movie, man. Like, yeah, edge yeah. of their seat so into I, it. I will, I will say this. I knew about the finger snap, right? Because th- is this finger snap from Thanos Quest or Infinity Gauntlet? Uh, it's in Infinity Garden, Gauntlet. It's it is end. Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I knew about the finger snap, and when they mentioned it earlier in the movie, I said to myself, they're not going to do that. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, there's going to be a moment, like, they, he's going to, like, almost snap his fingers, and, like, the, you know, Iron Man is going to put his head in his hand or something and snap his neck or some shit like that. Like, there's no way they're going to do that shit. They can't kill half the people in the universe. Iron Man's gonna die, saving the world, and then the Fantastic Four are gonna come. That's the end of the movie. Uh, but when he they said it at the beginning, I was like, they really might do that shit. Mm-hmm. And when they but, did, yeah. I was like, they wow. really did that shit. <laughs> and you know, right. the thing is, he still paid a price. Like I don't know if y'all know. First off, his hand was fucked up. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Then in the scene with him, you know, you know, on his farm and shit with his scarecrow, he his cool. like I don't know if you saw his arm was even fucked up. Yeah, I didn't notice that. I didn't yeah. notice that. Yeah, take it next time you see it, you like he paid his price. And that's that's part of going back to the why. why if you don't mind, like extra pontification and semi spoilers, if you watch the Wisecrack video, they kind of talk about how that's going to be really important thematically to the next movie is Mm -hmm. him recognizing the cost of his actions, which still sucks because that means it's going to have to bring Gamora back for shit. And I'm just like, oh, just get get, If it had to be a woman of color, we can do some fan casting real quick. Who was a better Gamora? 
Cardi B. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Peter Quill. I saw, 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 saw. <laughs> I don't know, man. Anyone that can act. <laughs> that's somebody you can be sympathetic to, though. Like, is a badass that if somebody hit her and she was really hurt, you'd be like, don't hurt her. You know what I'm saying? They put all the people that. that we would put in that role in Wakanda. In Wakanda. I was about to say, <laughs> yeah. it would have it been good for... Um, Except uh, for Gabrielle Union. Gabrielle Union, I think, maybe. She does yeah. badass. She don't do hurt well, though. She don't do oh, her. Well, oh, we we proud Mary. Um, Taraji. Yeah. Taraji. Yeah. yeah. Why you do this to me, Thanos? <laughs> 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 Fuck you, Thanos. Nigga. Why you do this, Thanos? I love you. <laughs> All right, that's not really. All right, we were <laughs> off topic. For Aaron, I can hear Aaron boiling in his blood. <laughs> Let's get, like, uh, we gotta get to <laughs> I know we gotta be running long. We're not, actually. We only so. had an hour. Oh. No. Okay, well, maybe I'm just getting tired. <laughs> oh, Dad that's, alert. That's rich. Oh. Let me look at my notes. So what, so, <laughs> so, what I will ask, and I'll go around the room, let's not try to interrupt each other, uh, what do y'all think will happen next? What are you looking forward to? Are you looking forward to more characters coming in, new characters? Um, has it sparked your interest in comics? Um, so I start with you, CY. I am looking forward to. <laughs> I right, just gonna be funny where I say it. I'm looking forward to the darkness. People didn't die. Like like you said, there's psychological shit that didn't happen. I'm looking forward to the darkness and like better scraps. I thought people were going to die in a more horrific manner. That's what I was really looking forward to. Didn't get it. Niggas blew away like Hershey Cocoa dust. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt cheated. Like nobody really. Hulk was the only one who caught them hands and then turned south and did not come back outside. There was good stuff. <laughs> nobody really like Game of Thrones, niggas die. Walking Dead, niggas die. This shit, niggas turned into talcum powder. Like, all right. Anyway, but yeah, okay. I'm done. Sorry. <laughs> um, what about you, Rock? Talcum powder. You, what, what'd you yeah, say? Uh, uh, a, go a random thing. This is just real random, and I know they're probably not going to go this direction, but I could live with some Black Panther at with Sori as Black Panther for a little while. Too soon. I'm just saying. You I'm know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying for a little. There has while. to be leadership. You know. I mean. I. I. You know. She would have to fight Mbaku. She might pull out some Wing Chun type shit and flip it on him and and win it. And then now she got it. She don't have the. She don't have the herb no more. So so she has to use technology as her back. If they give us, if they give it, if they give us a show or a Netflix show, yeah, hell yeah. But I don't want to see that get ruined. Just to yeah, find I don't want to see that get rushed. That's definitely yeah. like I think as well. I, I'll give my well. I'll wait to my predictions. Go ahead. You know. So anyway, that was just something that I thought about briefly, and I was just like, I could do that just for a little bit. I could. I could do it. Um, in general, what I don't want it to be is some Dragon Ball Z shit. I don't want it, you know, I don't want them to, to get the fucking Dragon Balls and bring everybody back. Like, I want them to have to work for it. So, you yep. know, with this whole Captain Marvel thing, like, I, did, I need, lightweight, I need a movie of them trying to work for it. You know, like, oh, you know, ragtag group of, of, of B-list Avengers trying to figure this shit out, you know? And I mean, it's not really. You still got to All right, start. Junior Varsity team. Y'all yeah. up. Right. <laughs> exactly. Right. And really, just because they're crippled by the by what happened. Like, yo, y'all failed. <laughs> you know, what are you, what y'all gonna avenge now? You know? <laughs> so. Great motivation. Great, great motivation speech. <laughs> what y'all gonna avenge now? All on the poster. You know what I mean? So right, because it's just like, oh, y'all about to avenge something, huh? <laughs> y'all ain't avenged my grandmama. 
<laughs> you know, so anyway, I did think it was weird though that the rapture happened and like instead of calling Jesus, they call Captain Marvel. All right, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> that was too deep. Too deep. I mean, I mean too but much. I mean, they kind of had Captain Marvel's number at the time. I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just that saying. Like, just be real, be Jesus don't always answer. I'm sure they called, I'm sure call they called Jesus like second. <laughs> you know, but they had to get on that pronto. You know what I mean? Jesus they called busy. Jesus first when they fucking was fighting the motherfucker. You see? <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, no, he yeah. snapped his fingers. <laughs> Jesus. Mm-hmm. Right. Jesus does say fingers <laughs> dead, so you know. You're right. Oh, uh, what about you, Lord? Um, what I'm looking forward to. I- Nothing, okay? Fucking summer is ruined. Oh, <laughs> I'm not going. I'm going into the. <laughs> I low key cried a little bit because I thought they was about to take Shuri, and I don't know if they took her. I'm glad that we didn't really get an answer to that because I don't want an answer to that. Like, or I had. They was well, taking everybody. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. You said they was taking everybody. <laughs> Shuri was knocked the fuck out, though. Let's be real. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, I'm, but she also might be close. Hershey kisses dust, like. Mm-hmm. That's like I said, we didn't see that, and I'm glad that we did not. Um, I look forward to seeing the next motherfucking movie next year. What the fuck am I supposed to do till then? Y'all really want me to watch 19 movies? Right. Marvel, right. sis. Which I'm here's my do. money. Okay? 20 come July. Okay. I'm hey, gonna, which I'm on the, sit which, down and watch all of these. Which on a side note, Marvel was petty as fuck. We gave y'all three days. Now we want more of y'all fucking money. <laughs> they said, right. Ant Man and the Wasp. All right, we gave y'all the weekend to grieve. And now we need the rest of y'all money. <laughs> now come have right. fun with them. Come have fun in the in the trailer. In the time before it's in and as a non comic book person, I'm gonna go see that shit. Because see? what the fuck else do I got to do now? Support group. <laughs> okay. So, so well, I'm already in the support group on Instagram. You niggas are late, okay? Because <laughs> I'm fucking traumatized by what the fuck I saw in that movie theater. I said, what is going on here? <laughs> so with with that, I think that's a good segue. I, can I jump in? Yeah, here? go ahead. So. Uh, let me talk some concrete stuff uh, just to know. So this this is an extra spoiler warning, warning because it spoils then why would future. You, why would you do it? Why would you do it if you know it's going to spoil some shit? It's not really a spoiler, though. It's just like it, real information that's already out there. I don't know what the fuck happens. I'm not going to go into comic book shit. Okay. I'm just talking about like news. This is movie news spoiler. Okay. Yeah. So okay. for those of you who are, this only spoilers to motherfuckers like us who will sit back and put it all together. Everybody else is going to be like, oh, okay. You know. Um, anyway, so okay. the Ant-Man movie coming out in July is set um, before Civil War. I mean, before uh, Infinity War. Uh, and what happens in it likely will somehow connect Ant-Man to Miss Marvel, um, uh, to, to Captain Marvel. And I don't know what's going to happen to Captain Marvel at all. But Captain Marvel is very much a part of Marvel Cosmic, meaning like she do a lot of outer space shit, um, which, you know, may or may not bring in Adam Warlock, who we saw a glimpse of at the end of The Last Guardians. So there's a lot of, there's several key players that may or may not pop up in this next Infinity War movie. I talked about the Warlock angle today at work. One of the uh, guys was breaking it all down to me, and that sounds dope. That's going to be crazy if they do that. Right. What? It's it, it, it. See, there you go. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's not a spoiler. To feel free to Google that shit. It's no. It won't give too much away, but it's some interesting shit. Um, in terms of if you wonder how how to actually beat Thanos, it starts with that nigga right there. Uh, and so then um, created by Aisha now. Yeah, who was it created by before? No one cares, y'all. Moving on. Thank, thank you, Lordy. Good job. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Somebody was about to ask that question. Um, so other things of interest to me is uh, for the future. Well, the first thing in terms of the movie, I want to see Captain Amer- America and, and Iron Man reconnect in the wake of this event and kind of have a fallout based around or have a a reconciliation, a fallout, then re- hopefully reconciliation based around the state of affairs they're already in. Um, I think that'll just be a really interesting. That's a really interesting narrative thread they left completely un, untouched uh, in this movie. Since Captain, uh, since Iron Man sent the whole movie in the space donut, um, and then on Titan. Uh, but the other thing that's really interesting to me is when the uh, Fox deal 
becomes official and whether or not that finally starts to play into these this next phase because they like they didn't the, the first two or what are we on phase three or two this is four going into four this is the end of phase four or it's the beginning of phase four beginning of phase four right so for phases, phases. one through three the math class? Yeah, maybe for, for phases one through three we've known every movie right they said look Captain Marvel coming out in 2020 and they said that shit in 2013 like we were still all gonna be here and shit um <laughs> you know not knowing that Donald Trump was about to be president motherfuckers wasn't gonna make it uh so but this they haven't even released the name of the second movie yet and they stay it's because it's a spoiler like what so Aaron here's why I evoke your nerd uh knowledge and and Lordy let him roll for a second what could they be naming this next movie that could possibly be a spoiler at this point? Because I don't know what they could have done. Like, it'd be different if they called it Secret Wars. They could do Avengers Deconstructed. They could do Avengers Assembled. They could do... Um, what's another good storyline? Um, I really think they're going to do Assemble. I Not think- since, give, a quick, give a quick explanation as to what... What happens there? So basically, the Avengers get deconstructed and they have to come back together. It's just, it's just what happened in Thanos' quest. You know, see, but I don't know if that's a good, but um, it's it'll be spoiler, it, it'll, right? But Kevin Feige came out and said that the next title isn't really that big of a spoiler. He just, they just another thing Marvel does is just fucking lie just to fake you, motherfuckers. Yeah, just fuck with they people. just don't, they lie to you. So as I said earlier, Marvel is truly the Beyonce of this uh, comic book superhero movie shit. They do what they want. Okay, so, yeah. take my fucking money, sis. So what? Oh, what, what one, is my damn year? What? Does, one minor last thing for future observation: everybody that died at the very end were not in the first Avengers movie. The only people left are were the original. First, the original Avengers. Yeah. And I think so there's there's another another theory that's rolling out there is are we gonna get some type of new dimension type situation? Yeah, I heard that where too. all of the new Avengers are together as the new Avengers, which th- exists in the comics, while the old Avengers are either chill or or dead or you know out of commission. Because I don't think that's an accident that the people that all die got movies coming out in the yeah. next two years. Like, we know we're getting the Black Panther 2. We know we're getting the Spider-Man 2. We know we're getting the Doctor Strange 2. You know what I'm saying? We so, don't really need a Doctor Strange 2, y'all. If y'all want to do a Black Panther 3, I'm also down for that. So, but this is how confident Kevin Feige is in Ryan Coogler. He said, you know, usually they are on a schedule. Kevin Feige mm-hmm. said, whenever Ryan Coogler is ready, we will do Black Panther 2. I, I thought he said he wouldn't nice. do another one. Who? Coogler? No, 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 no. Coogler. No, no cool. <laughs> Kevin no, that's what people were saying that he would say. Yeah, Kevin that's Feige. What Kevin, he would do. Kevin uh. Feige said, "No, no, no. We will wait until he is ready. That's it. Don't ask me." I'm again. almost afraid for that. Like, I, I kind of don't want him to try that again. I want him to just be like, "Die. Right, that was for y'all," and then pass it to a homeboy, and the homeboy can make a nice, safe superhero movie with Black Panther in it. Like, I don't want them. Like I don't know. That's just what that's, yeah, but that's but let me let subject. me let me talk about what I enjoyed about the movie and then we'll get up out of here because I haven't really talked about what? it. Um wait, did did I miss you, Siwa? Did you say what you enjoyed about the movie? Well, yeah, I no, I did. I'm okay. Good. I I was like, wait, I, I didn't? I, I was confused for a second. Um wait, we got mad people on the show. You good. Go ahead. Um so for me, um I am looking forward to what's next. Because Marvel has, from the time, 10 years ago, so I was a, still a kid in most eyes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was just coming into my adulthood, you know what I'm saying? I've, I've been watching these movies as long as me and Kendra have been together, you know what I'm saying? And it's just been fun to watch the growth of the company um, and how they've grown as a movie-making entity as well. You know, like, because those first couple movies are not that good. You know, they, they hold the... First Iron Man is dope. Yeah, but, I mean, they had a feel. But th- the movies aren't written as well as they are today. Yeah, they definitely have gotten better. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just looking forward to what they have coming next. I think we're going cosmic, so I think we're going to get big power levels. I'm talking about Monica Rambeau was was just announced for right. the new Captain Marvel movie. If what any- if, real quick, so, Lordy, this interests you. Captain Marvel is also black. But not really. Yeah. 
So there's a there's an outside chance we might get a black Captain Marvel. I'm Henry. not going to give that up just yet. By the way, her new name is Spectrum. Call her by her real name. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, okay. Nerd out. <laughs> she she is she she is actually one of the most powerful people in, in the world or in the universe. So, right. Yeah. But she ain't Shuri though. So, you know, we're going to figure <laughs> out some things. So, but Okay. I, but overall, I like I said, I just I mean, I like I said, I can't take anything away from MCU. It delivered on every front. Um, y'all should go out and see this movie if y'all can handle it again. Um, I think I'll probably go up probably about two more times while it's in theaters. And, I think uh, that's a no for me, dog. Yeah, see, some people are like that. Some people are like, nope, I am good. Once was <laughs> enough. You know, so. I, I got to wait a whole year. When I, why am I going to do that to myself again? Hey, this is another wild, wild theory that's been going around. Shouts out to my boys from the NTR network. They said, think about it. Infinity War, whatever the next Avengers 4 movie is, it's in the can already. It's done. They, they already they filmed, filmed them at the same time. Mm -hmm. What? If they say, because there's nothing in December right now, what if they drop it on Christmas? What if no. they just say, mm. fuck y'all, we want the whole year, we want all the no, money no, all no, year. No, 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 no. I'm, don't, don't knock it down. Because they have moved dates before. Oh, yeah, because you know what? I forgot. Um, fucking Han Solo is the summer now, isn't yeah. it? Han Solo comes out in two weeks. Yeah, you're right. They don't have anything in December, dog. What if they oh, just what if they said that's we, all the money? What if they just said we want y'all money all year? They long? pulling some no I limit mean shit. December, January, February, March, sis, take my money. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you there, but I'm not going to go see this movie again. Nope. 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 Not until I have the next movie date, at least. Like, why am I gonna do that to myself? Hey, how so how so how did y y your husband come in? How did he come in the door? Because you said how you came in. You know, he was less affected than me, obviously, because I don't feel like he was invested, but we did have a talk about how these niggas blew into, like, dust. Like, ash to ash is dust to dust. My niggas like, what? I really want to hear, if we have any fans that took their kids to the movie... Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Well, I would I'm love not... to hear about that. Oh, God. I would love to, like, relish in your pain. I'm sorry. It's just... it's I I, text That is, like, amazing to think about to me. Is the people that went thinking they were going to see a Marvel movie with their kids and had to leave talking about the gravity of death and finality of uh, the, the inevitability of life. Actually, actually, they did that with Coco. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, nah, because Coco was like, life after death is great because you still have family and you love them while they're here and you honor them while they're gone. No. This shit was I the people you love yeah. die sometimes, and there ain't shit you can do about it. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 you gonna have to kill some niggas yourself and toss my clips sometimes. Right. <laughs> oh shit. Right. On, on, on that note, let's get up out of here, man. It's been another room reviews. Um, this time for Marvel's Infinity War, aka Infinite Sadness. Um, thank <laughs> you. Yeah. Thank, yep. Thank y'all yep. so much for coming on. Um, until next time, y'all. Peace. Peace. Peace.